Hello, Kai and Alex. I hope you guys are doing well. I am doing very well, too. It's bright and early on Tuesday morning, so I figured I would make you a video right now, and you can watch it when you're available. So, I thought, of course, it's Green Day. We should do calendar first, since sometimes I send you videos from my house, and sometimes I send you videos from here. So, count with me, because I know you can. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, Whew. twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Can you believe we're at twenty-six? The month of January is almost done. There's another great M word, months, right? Do you remember your months? We'll do that song this week too. You know, January, February, March, April, March. There's another month too, do you know what that one is? May, hmm, pretty cool. So I want to talk to you today. It's a great day to talk about this because we're supposed to get snow today. And what is better to keep your hands warm than a nice pair of, you know, it starts with the letter M, mittens. Do you know what mittens are? They go on your hands, but they don't have any fingers. It's just a bump in your thumb. Mittens. So if you didn't know, this little boy is wearing a mitten. And the story is called The Mystery. Uh, oh, the missing mitten mystery. Oh, that's a lot of letter M's. Do you see the M's on there? Can you find them? One, two, three, four. So this story is called the missing mitten mystery. Mm, so a mystery is something you have to solve that someone doesn't know. So check it out. The missing mitten mystery. Oscar, I lost my other mitten. That makes five mittens this winter. I'm in big trouble. Oh no, do you ever lose your mittens? That happens. Let's search every place we played today. We'll start on the hill where we rode on Ralph's sled. Here's Ralph's boot, but there's no mitten. How did he lose his boot in the snow? I'll look around the castles we built with Ralph and Herbie and Ruth. That was fun. Ooh, look at the castles they built. Snow castles. Looks like they had a snowball fight. Here's Ralph. Uh, other here's Ralph's other boot and Ruth's sock and Herbie's sweater. They must have got hot while they were playing outside. But no mitten. Uh oh. I can't find it. Oscar, you found it. Look, do you see the dog? He's chasing the red. Wow, a flying mitten. Do you think it's a mitten if it's flying? What do you know that's red and flies? Oh, it's only a little bird. It's called a cardinal. Maybe you've seen him before. We have him around here. I wonder if he stole my mitten to make his snuggly nest. No, he's too small to carry off my mitten. But an eagle could have done it. Do you think an eagle took the mitten? Let's see. Maybe an eagle took my mitten to keep his baby's head warm. <gasps> Look at the nest. Do you see that? Do you think that's what happened to the mitten? Hmm. Do you think my mitten got tired of being a mitten and maybe it just slipped off my hand and hopped away? Can a mitten do that? There are no mitten tracks, but here are some mouse tracks heading towards the wood pile. Maybe. Could that mouse be using my mitten for a sleeping bag? Do you see the mouse there? Oh my goodness, he might be sleeping in there. Or maybe he'll wear it next Halloween and be a mitten mummy. That would be a good idea. Let's go see if I dropped my mitten while we were making the snowman to surprise Mrs. Seltzer. Oh, they made a snowman. I haven't seen your mitten, Annie. But why don't you look in the garden where you were making snow angels? Have you ever made a snow angel? You lay in the snow and you move your arms and legs and it looks like that? If you haven't, 
when we get a little more snow, you could dry it. Finding misting mittens is hard work. It would be easier to grow new ones. Let's try planting the other mitten right here in the garden. And next spring, when the snow melts, a little mitten tree might sprout. Do you think you could plant a mitten and grow a mitten tree? No. Mrs. Seltzer and I would be take good care of it all summer long. Look, he made one. He's pretending. In the fall, we'd pick the ripe mittens. Look at all the mittens in that tree. Could you really grow a mitten tree? That would be cool, but it doesn't work that way. Then I'd give mittens away on Christmas. And mittens for birthdays. And mittens on Valentine's Day. Uh-oh, there's a lot of mittens. Oscar, it's getting dark and it's starting to rain. We'll never find that mitten. Oh man, what happens to the snow when it starts to rain? Did you say it melts? It does. Come inside, Annie, her mom said. I made some hot chocolate for us, and I've got a biscuit for Oscar. Ooh, that's one of my favorite things is the winter is a hot cocoa. <gasps> Look, the rain is melting the snowman. But what's that spot on his chest? <gasps> Do you see it? It's a heart. Gracious! Your snowman has a heart. Check it out. My mitten is the heart of the snowman. Oh my goodness, the end. They solved the missing mitten mystery. Wow, did you figure that out before we got to the end of the story? I hope you liked that. That was a fun one. I like a mystery. And I just thought to finish up our day, we should do another letter M song. And this song, I think you guys know, you're going to need five fingers. Ready? Five little monkeys swinging from a tree, teasing Mr. Alligator can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snatched a monkey right out of that tree. Four little monkeys swinging from a tree, teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snatched a monkey right out of that tree. Three little monkeys swinging from a tree, friends. It was nice to talk to you again today. I will see you again soon. Make sure you're practicing that letter M. Mm, like monkey and mitten.